I think I'm doing a good job on YouTube. It's just nobody clicks the videos. It's my only problem. Like everything, everything's perfect except that nobody watches the videos, which is kind of you know some might say it's a, a a pretty medium deal, maybe even a big deal. But not for me. I just kind of like putting the videos out there, even if no one's watching them. Where does it say you have to be popular on YouTube? Ah, there we go. There's the next trap. Where does it say you have to have any viewers? Show me the law. <laughs> Should we set, set the trap off anyway? I can't remember how we do it. I think there's a pressure plate somewhere. Nah, I'm just gonna leave it. That way if I need to run away, I'll run away and get hit by it. I guess we'll clear up this side and then... all the rest of the times we'll go through like the middle of the place. Maybe we'll just do it all in one loop. Hey, there's a lantern on that door. I never noticed that last time. There might be a talkable person inside if there's a lantern. New content. Oh, I think you missed the bit as well where I found like billions of, of new content. It was really cool. I found out where a piece of loot is that I never figured out how to get to. You know not the value you possess, but more for pity. The hours of the night are many, and the beast more than I can count. A veritable hunt unending. Not even death offers solace, and the blood imbibes you. <laughs> A most frightful fate. Oh my... I'm willing to do you a kindness. Step lightly round to the right of the great cathedral and seek an ancient shrouded church. This is Patches. The gift of the Godhead will grant you strength. Yes, I'm unquestionably certain. <laughs> I can tell by the accent. Oh, tonsil stone. Interesting. I don't know if I found this last time. So the stuff that I found was when you go up this uh, hunter's, um, this kind of like, it used to belong to the hunter's workshop and then just the people in there are crazy like everybody else now. And at the top there's a locked door that I still don't know how you get through. Still never been through there. But you can fall down the middle of it and it's like a great big like tower shaft and then you go down and then there's more of the city there's one door to knock on there's some guys got some dialogue there's a load of different mobs down there and some classic mobs as well and then you come up a lift on the other side and finally you get to the piece of loot that i could see all along and it was just a like a level five bunch of souls consumable and that was it but without seeing the piece of loot you couldn't see all the other stuff and there was like this werewolf guy that's like the devil down there. I think he shows up as a boss in one of the chalice dungeons. He like flings fireballs out of his hands and he's like if the devil was a werewolf. And he was pretty cool and he dropped me like one of the, the major overarching rune things you can equip to your character or some kind of rune. I should have checked it out in town while I was there. Whoops. Not even death offers solace. Seek you the ancient, the gift of the gods. So, Spider Patches is inside this building. I wonder if you look at it, like, exactly correctly. You can, like, see him in there, like, you can peek through. Yeah, totally. It's just, like, I have, like, a billion hours of me looking to figure out that secret. And all you do is go up a nearby tower, and then, and then that's kind of it. And you're done. Oh, uh, aside from the, the falling in part as well. So yeah, that's kind of cool that the patches can actually be found outside of the church. How's this weapon versus the cane whip thing? The the the, the one-handed version of it, where you just poke forwards, is pretty cool. You know, people have to kind of be standing in a line if you're going to hit multiple people with it. Charge attack's very powerful, and you can actually get a backstab with it, unlike the whip. So it, it's kind of cool, one-handed. But then you go two-handed, and although you can fire the gun with it, he fires it a bit slow. I feel like it's on a delay versus the pistol. 
And most of the time, you're just kind of you're kind of just getting it on time if you're using the regular pistol. So this means you just miss like a lot of the attacks, or you you stagger them, but then you can't go forwards and get the, the finisher on them. And also, while you're using regular attacks with the two hand, it's really short. He holds it so far up the handle. Oh my god! I put the control pad down. He started doing attacks again. Damn you, control pad! Um, he's holding it so far up the handle that it's just it's really short range. Like, you actually get less range with it on two-handed mode than you do when you're just poking forwards with the one-hander. Like, he, he really reaches into it with the one-hander. You turn it to the two-hander, you expect to have more reach, and you've got less suddenly. So it's, it's really awkward. I don't don't generally use it two-handed. It's kind of terrible. Like, I'll try and hit this dog. Come back here. No chance. Put it back into one-handed mode. Well, okay, I still can hit the dog from there, but I bet I can hit it from... Hmm, it's kind of... It's, it's kind of sucked there anyway, but... It's just... It's it's dreadful. It's either the same or less than the one-handed mode, which, which irks me. 104 damage. I don't even think the damage goes up at all, or if, if it does by not much. This is weird. I kind of wanted a spear to do cool spear things. Have I ever been up here? What the hell? I might not have found this. I I don't know what this is, I don't think. Whoa. Okay. But the whip I found, you know... You got you got a wide, cool sweep instead of just a poke forwards. The range is pretty good. When you morph back to the sword, that's not bad at all. That does not look safe down there. It's either very low res water or a or a soul sucking mist. I always use the saw blade. It seemed very straightforward. So yeah, I really like my old axe, but the saw spear thing this this was cool, and it was in the opening FMV. Pow. He's got a decent sweep, much faster attacks than some of my stuff. Like the dexterity stuff from skill, it's not called dexterity in this. It's really slow and awkward. It's, it's just kind of, it's, it's weird. I was expecting it to be fast and awesome compared to the strength, but it's, it's not really doing... Whoa, what the hell is all of it? Okay, I found a new level. <laughs> no wonder everything kept on getting really difficult. I'm, I'm missing all sorts of levels. There's like... Lots of super gross giant things down here. I'm, uh, we're going to check this out. Later. I'm going to remember. But I, I don't... I, hmm. I was heading somewhere specific and now I'm just like... That's, that's weird. What's all of this? Uh, uh. It was just so blurry viewing the game last time. No wonder I'm I was missing things. Yeah. I feel like I know exactly where I am, exactly where I wanted to go, but just it just looks more impressive watching it directly on the monitor. So it's so so easy to see that there's a cave entrance there. I feel like the other place, the other place that I just mentioned about how I, I found like secrets dropping down somewhere, that probably would have been obvious to me if the graphics were up higher. Or maybe I just didn't look left in that one place where the left turn was. That could also be a, another funny reason. I went up and down the tower in question like 400 times on my old save. Never found it. I went there once on this save, and I'm just like, oh look, there's an area, you can go there. Oh, it leads to the, the piece of loot. Okay, cool. I, I'm just not very accomplished in Bloodborne yet. It's probably why I didn't like it the first time around. Oh no, not, not a bag, man. Ah, I hate you guys. I've just finally generated ten potions, and then this. 
He seems like a lower level bag, man. Oh god, he's doing the thing. Now he knows Kung Fu. Oh god. Yeah. Oh god no. Oh, god. Those get so much damage after they cast that red thing. It is just absurd. I don't I don't like them. Ooh, six blood bars on that guy. Cool. Starting to head towards, like, my only stack of 20. I have none of the banks still, but... I have enough to walk around with. Okay, we are gonna, we are gonna head off across there, where all the guys throw down Molotovs at you. But maybe... Ooh, beast roll. Cool. Maybe we'll look around the town a little bit first. What does this lever for? For the door? I guess he could lock me in here. Well, it's too late for that now. I kind of killed him. Four blue elixirs. Never used one. Never will use one. Don't even remember what the tooltip said. Right, that's where Spider Patches lives. Right, let's head into the town proper. Pretty sure there's a gun guy that walks around here somewhere. No, maybe he's already stepped out. There he is. Ah, I'm behind you though, buddy. Whoa. Subscribed? Wow! Thank you so much! Oh my god! I wasn't expecting that today! That's so cool. Yeah, you get one of the, the extra badges for being one of the first few people. I think we've had four subscribers ever, four different people subscribe. So this might be five now. Yes, of course. Thumbs up is the, is the most is the most uh, useful emote here. Hello, Jessica. How's it going? Yeah, I'm I'm great, thank you. Ooh, Molotovs. Uh oh. I hope you're doing well too. Uh, I think there's a, a pit trap here. Yep. Uh oh. Some loot down there though, so I might have to accidentally fall in it in a little while. This is a crazy ambush. I'm better though. <laughs> I want to tell you something about myself. Hopefully it's not that you're an artist. Uh-oh. It's 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 going to be that. I've I got a feeling. <laughs> Yeah, you are an artist. Mm. Yeah. How about that? And it's interesting. But I actually knew that you were an artist from the minute you said hello. How about that? 
I'm not going to tell you how, just in case, you know, they learn. Hmm. Yeah. Um. No, we're not going to be doing any of that, because I too am a professional artist, and maybe you should buy some stuff from me. Yeah. Isn't that interesting? Ah, oh, it doesn't open from this side, this door. Okay. Oh, well, I know where the other side of that door is to open it. It's going to be fine. But yeah. I've got, I've got so much art myself. I'm just... My pockets are full of art. From, you know... They're literally bulging with art. How about that? Right. Oh god, it's full of crows. I'm counting all these crows. Phew. Oh, the ladder, the ladder's just here in the pit. It doesn't go anywhere. I couldn't remember if, like, you walk out of this pit. Or if there's, you know, more to it than that. Yeah. Just, uh, it's, it's, it's all bots. Although, to be fair, we've just had a real subscriber from a real person. So it's not all bots out there. Did I go in this door? This is the one with the, yeah, the metal door. Other professional artists come in here and like, oh god, you obviously need help, yeah. So this is where we would have bombs thrown down on us, because we didn't clear the top area. Okay, so now we need to go back up. Uh, I don't think we can go up from here. Oh, whoa. Easy does it. Let's let's try this lever. It's gotta be for this gate, right? Ooh, crunch. For a second, I was worried that you couldn't, like, move it the other way around. You can. You can. You just wait a while. You're too impatient, it seems. Yeah! Get out of it, you. Oh! Nope! Why me? What the hell? Oh my god, I hope nobody turns that into a clip. <laughs> what the hell was up with that luck? Where did that guy come from? I'd cleared all of that. What the hell? My god. Oof. <laughs> I can't believe artists try and go to a channel one at a time to to to, to sell things. This is so silly. Like, that is, that is the worst business strat I ever saw. I gotta say, I gotta say, this is like the strangest thing to me still. It also feels super rude. Like, some guy's sitting there, he's in his house, and they try and bust in and sell me a set of steak knives. I'm just like, I don't, I don't want your damn steak knives. Get the hell out of town. Uh, I'm an artist, not a good one though. Yeah, me too. I'm, I'm, I'm a professionally bad artist. <laughs> that's, that's how I make my living. Uh, the most I did was a PNG to use instead of a face cam. I should totally annoy people with that. Yeah. Oh, I don't know. It's just so weird. People are trying to like scrape pennies together by bothering people one at a time on their channel. It's just, it's so... Ugh. I don't, I don't like it. I really don't. Side seven. Kick him down into there. We'll, we'll we'll go through the swamp as well in a minute. We want all the loot from everywhere. Oh god, he's still he's still chucking stuff at us. So can we get down off of this side? It doesn't look like it. I just um. 
Like I'm not wealthy, but I'm also not broke enough to go to do that. Yeah. That's kinda that's kinda it. Like even if you were out of money, like what kind of strategy is it to try and like sell art one at a time by annoying people? Like, I don't know, it's just it's just the way that it's so it can't make any money. Because you're literally advertising to one person at a time, every time, all the time, day in, day out. It must be the slowest process ever. Unless you're just kind of hoping that everyone else in the channel, in addition to the streamer, is also streamers. It's like, yeah, I went into a channel with like three people. I sure hope all three of them buy one thing. One of them came in with prices before while I was playing Dark Souls 3 the first time, which was a while ago now. He wanted $40 for an art. I'm like, I ain't giving you $40 for art. Think about, think about how much food that is. What the hell? I think already got time for, for $40. <laughs> no, you clipped my other unfortunate moment. Just like, ah, get off! And then he kicked me off. I can't believe he did that. Snuck right up behind me, that guy. I mean, I can have the same artist as the great Gaming with Dean. Yeah, I'll, I'll, I can do you a thumbnail for something if you want. Nope, no problems here. This is the other side of that gate. I should really should try and get better with like Photoshop and stuff, but I don't know, man. Sitting down with a YouTube tutorial and like watching it for hours and hours and end, I ain't got time for that. I could be doing more stuff on my channel in the time I take to do that. Oop. Whoa! Look at that dual wield. This guy's a beast. Literally a beast. Photoshop. For me, it's um, Premiere Pro. Uh, that's that's the bother for me. Like, actually, Premiere Pro is catching the flack, and it's not even Premiere Pro. I will correct myself. My problem is with Adobe Media Encoder. I get episodes of of the the show where, for some reason, it just decides not to have my voice track record on a ton of it. And I'm like, where is the voice track? And I tell it to encode again, and the second time it's just like, here you go. Here's all the audio this time, instead of being missing a huge chunk of it. Which is like, great, thanks, why didn't you do that the first time around? And the thing is, if I... Like, Elden Ring is like 400 episodes. And I have to sit there and, and go through it all. And like, speed watch 400 episodes in order to find the ones that are then missing bunch of the audio track to then go back and fix that afterwards by redoing it again. It drives me nuts. I use my phone's built-in editor fairly decently. Yeah, I remember messing with Photoshop and GIMP when I was younger. Never heard of GIMP. I think I, I downloaded GIMP on um, Linux because I think it's operating system agnostic. Um, whereas, like, you know, Photoshop things, I don't think work by default at all on Linux. But they do work on Mac. But who uses a Mac? Who's even heard of Mac? That's those Apple guys, right? Didn't they almost go out of business? Um... Uh... And yeah, I don't know. Just uh, uh, That media encoder thing just annoys me. It should do... It should consistently do the same thing every time, but no, each time you are encoding an episode, you're rolling a dice as to whether that episode comes out fine, or comes out with an error that it doesn't tell you about, only when you manually go back and look. So I had a bunch of uploaded episodes of Elden Ring, where there was just no audio from coming out my mouth the entire thing, it was just like really weird. And I had to go back and re-upload the correct ones to work in, and oh, so much effort. But then, if I don't use the Adobe products, what else is there for for video? Just like I'm not using Sony Vegas 
That costs a load of money. But also, I tried the other thing, like the Da Vinci Resolve, and it was so difficult to work with. It was just weird in some places. I couldn't save some of the filters I frequently use all day, every day. GNU. Yeah, G. Yeah, G I M P. Yep. It's the whole thing spelled out. <laughs> I'd even forgotten that it's called that, but I instantly recognized the, the acronym, yeah. Some open source graphic editor. If you've ever recorded my voice audio separate from the main audio. Maybe I could go home, I guess. Yeah, I keep my audio tracks separate because, um. You no, know, sometimes I just record something and it sounded a bit loud in my ear, like the music was just like big opera for for a boss and then I go back and I listen to myself and you can't hear me because just the opera is just blaring out of my my speakers it's headphones in my case and it's like well if I don't record these separately I can't balance that if I do record them separately I can like there was this like the most recent thing I did for episodes was League of Legends Swarm and there was just one day when just like I had a sore throat or something or the microphone was pushed back a little bit further from my face where I was like 10 times as quiet. So I was able to just slap an extra 10 decibels or 8 decibels or 4 decibels as appropriate onto my voice track. Whereas if I did that on the whole thing, it would it would just destroy it. If everything was 10 times louder, that would not be the point of me fixing the, the audio from, from me just being a little bit too quiet. On just a couple of eps. So, um, you know, it comes with its own problems when you've just got the one audio track. Like, I record a lot of stuff, just never upload it. I suck at editing videos. Yeah, well, I went kind of the other way with that. Uh, I don't edit anything. Everything makes it. I mean, it, it doesn't, because I, I do actually cut a couple of things. Like, if I go running off and I'm looking at that bit of the episode, I don't keep it. Like, why would I keep a big chunk where I go AFK to, to grab a drink or something? Uh, I think I don't think you get to the top of this through where I'm going. I think you you end up having to go around. Um, but yeah. Uh, otherwise, I I I like edited down footage. It's fine, but that's just not what I'm doing on my channel. Like, if I just cut all the bits where I died on a boss, it'd feel a bit cheap to me. Like, I know there's people that, that have full playthroughs, probably, that, that cut out all of the deaths. Streamline the heck out of that sucker. But it's, it's just not what I'm going for. So here we go, the first snake head. I remember these guys. I got so poisoned. He was a mean, mean man. My worst offense was a daisy vid. That was nine hours, even after cutting the dead parts. Never again. Too much work. Yeah. I, originally, there was someone who I I don't talk to at all anymore because he flew completely off the handle and went insane, but that's not part of this story. Uh, and he was like, your videos need to be edited. I'll edit them. And then it was like, well... We didn't really have cloud at that point, so we didn't, and then, eh, you know. But he was a guy that was kind of enthusiastic about edited video only. Because other stuff is too long to get through. People are going to be turned off by the fact that they have to watch tons of stuff. And, uh, you know, I get it. I get it. But I, I just want to show the whole process. Because otherwise you miss bits. I think it's kind of interesting as well to see everything on a playthrough and not just skip to the best parts. Hey, we got him. Damn, he was susceptible to a, a critical attack. Boom. I'm pretty sure I'm going to unlock being able to get up to the top of one of the areas here that's a shortcut. Because I remember coming down here a lot before my, my first playthrough. Yeah, it's this. Uh, we'll look whatever's here though. He said, risking it all for one twin blood shard. 
This is where the Covenant guy is. I remember this guy. Wow, 40,000 souls. Jeez. Uh, gonna head to have dinner. Take care, guys. See you later on, Sly. As always, it's a delight to have you here. It's, uh, it's really good to have more people. It's been lots of fun. We've had, like, a real decline in some of the, the, the regulars lately. Um, but Sly's always here, which is cool. Yeah, there's a shortcut unlocked. We'll uh, talk to Philip here. See what he's got going on. He looks like he's from Lies of P, to be honest. He looks like he's got the police officer outfit. And then a bag on his head. It's kind of awesome. Ah, a new face, are you? And an accomplished hunter, it would appear. <laughs> I am Volta, master of the League. Members of the League cleanse the streets of all the filth that spread about during the hunt. Like any half-decent hunter ought to, you know? Haven't you seen enough of these wretched beasts, freakish slugs and mad doctors? Sentence these fiends to death with the help of your League confederates. What do you say? Why not join the League? I think he's like a multiplayer guy, but I have it on offline mode. But we'll join the League. Because he seems like a nice guy. What I find funny is Fat Shark is updating Dark Tide and changing one little part of weapon crafting and calling it a major update. Oh, I saw in my Steam library that they were calling it a major update and I didn't go and look in on it yet. That's really disappointing if that's all they did, just a tiny little thing. Oof. Yes, as a hunter well should. Commit this to heart. Our own Carol Rune, symbol of the League. I don't think Fat Shark are very keyed in to the, you know, night brims with defiled scum and is permeated by their rotten stench. Just think, now you're all set to hunt and kill to your heart's content. Hunt in cooperation with your fellows, your League confederates. <laughs> this guy goes more insane the more you talk to him. But yeah, I, I just feel like sometimes there are like people people want Vermintide 2 in Warhammer 40,000. Go, release it, it'll be a smash hit. And then they don't. They just do like a load of weird stuff that nobody asked for, nobody wanted, and doesn't work. And then they have a big update and they say, okay, we changed things. And then it's like even worse in some ways and better in a couple of ways. And then you have to wait like an extra year and then they say, okay, we've done another update. And then it's still off, it's still not quite right. They changed even more things, did some weird stupid stuff again, and you know, eventually they will get it right, but oh, it's gonna take them a while. They, they just can't seem to understand. I don't know what it is, but it just seems so obvious. Like, other developers, they just oh, the community wants this, let's go. Or, or at least they say no. Fat Shark, sometimes it comes up with a bunch of stuff they say they're gonna do, and then they don't do it, like single player with bots. It's never going to happen. Oh, here we go. So memory slot one is lake. Uh, this was the new one that we got. Beast room. Boost effect of temporary transformation. Temp boost to transformation plus 20. I don't know what transformation is. That's odd. Uh, one of the Odin runes. Higher quick silver bullet max. Okay, cool. Minion, higher blood via max, and impurity. This is the this is the cooperative one. Boost max help during co-op by plus two. Okay, cool. We got a little bit of extra power here, there, and everywhere. It's awesome. Uh, they changed how you get weapon blessing. That's it. And all it does is add more grind to Dark Tide. Yeah, that sounds about right. So our update centers around the fact that we would like people to log in some more, to maybe use the cash shop some more, to maybe get us some more money, and that that's going to be all it boils down to. Oh. Okay, we'll take the hunter's pistol to a plus five. Bang. Uh, let's see if we got anything else we want to use on the rifle. Anything new? So this would turn up physical attack a lot, but we wouldn't get the HP recovery anymore. Hmm, I have to think about that. I do like the free HP recovery. What about on this one? Uh, 
nothing specifically that I want there. What about this one? Oh, that seems like we've got all the right stuff on that. We got a new gem here. Wow, it's going to increase the attack on our gun by absolutely tons. Is that a 1.8% extra? 12.6%. Is that a plus 5? Plus 18. It's amazing. I'm going to really be shooting people now. Uh, is Till find the funniest? Oh, I, I still find the funniest and dumbest thing about Dark Tide in general was after launch. I got no update for almost two years. Yeah, I didn't own it at that point because I, I knew it was so bad. And then a friend finally got it for me for, for a gift. But they added new cosmetics to the cat shop item every two weeks during that up no update period. Yep. Because they had like a very small amount of maps and a very small amount of objectives. I don't think they had the reverse maps at that point from what I heard. I think that was my main problem with it. That there were four maps that just repeated always and forever. And at that point, you know, I thought we were going to get the bots and they still hadn't added them. Welcome. What is it? Very well. Let me. Lots of things to be disappointed by for sure. Uh, let's see. That'd be 19 health, which is why I stepped off of that one for a bit. We can pick up three. Levels up in Endurance, which is going to give us, like, five more stamina, a load more poison resist. Yeah, let's do that. I do like to be able to move around a little bit more. 4 should I? Maybe I'll get, like, tons of dex. See if I can get some more damage. Wow, from 163 to 171. It's huge. Yeah, let's do it. Let's go huge damage. Pow. It's now 14k per level up. Do we have any more? We do have some consumables. That probably isn't 14k's use worth, though. Let's just get back out there, I, I guess. So if we go to the Forbidden Woods, it's probably where we want to be. Yeah. It's just weird. You know, I, I really I really like some of their games, what they do eventually. I think the voice actors from Vermintide and Vermintide 2 have been working for a very long time and do an awesome job. But, uh, yeah. Yeah. I think things are a bit weird sometimes too. So we got up there, we got the rest of over there. And then we got getting into the top floor of some places. Hmm. Lots of options, lots of places to go. I think I'll try and clear up the rest of the loot in this area. Did that just fall off the level? I think the first guy just fell off the level. Huh. I didn't. I let him do him. Ooh. Almost got hit by the thing again. Ah, damn. Rats. Oh, double rats. Oh well, we got some more health files. Oh, so I, if that's where the crows are, I guess I did look at the rest of that. All right. So let's say I perfectly looted that area. Let's try going back up a bit more. It's probably a, a, a good idea. Nice, didn't get hit. Whoa. Try 
trying to sort of remember where this way goes specifically. I'll I'll start off there. Oh, is this maybe the bit that's a dead end? Like, there's one of the great big troopers up here in big armor. And then maybe it doesn't go anywhere else? Damn, didn't get him in time. The character did not stand up quickly. Whoa. Come on, big lad. What you got for me? Damn. Got more than I can handle. Oh, sidestepped in time, got my invincibility frames. Pow. It's worth a lot of souls, but I think this is a dead end at the top of here. We'll check, though. So, uh, burning horse. Obviously not lootable. Can't put a burning horse in your pocket. And then, cave to nowhere? We've got a new type of gem. Could be a really good gem. Just check the secret walls while we're here. Yeah, no, as you do. Sure, you can. Just gonna need a big pocket. Yeah, maybe an extra couple of people. Maybe if we uh, cut it in half, we can lift half each. But oof, who wants half a half a burning horse? So this is where we came in. I think. I don't think there's anything else to see here, specifically. Yeah. So we've got to find our way down to the snake forest. I think I remember where that is. We've got to find our way up to the top of the windmill to speak to that other guy and tell him that he can't join our little group. Last time I, I invited him to stay and live with us, he murdered everybody. One at a time. It was a real murder mystery until he was the last guy left, and I'm like, I think I know who's murdering everyone. It's this last guy that's left. I'm gonna get revenge for my other save. Right, so first off, we go past this snake guy. Get back in there. Maybe I can activate that lift. I'm not sure though. Oh, we got a uh, we got a crit from the back. Awesome. Not having to fight them is is gloriously helpful. Dear God. Nothing out that side. All right, cool. Uh, might be able to skip this one. This one might not see me. Yeah, is this is this active yet? No. I guess I need to find it from the bottom. There's gotta be s some way up to the top of this. That's what I'm finding bizarre. I can't really remember how we did it. Oh no. Yep. He, he's got the snake head going on. Finish him! That was so quick. I was expecting him to fight him, fight him for the next, like, 50 minutes. We got him, though. Maybe you just step out, like, here, and then you can go up somewhere? Whoa, I clipped through. That was... That was scary. Uh, I sure hope this is a bit, bit of playable level, else I'm gonna... Ah, uh, Okay, cool. he hit me at the same time, it didn't really work out the way I wanted it to. There we go. Did 
We got a really good view from here of Snake Forest. The one place in the world you don't really want to be. Uh, I'm just going to get the, uh, the, the torch out here so I can see what the heck we're doing. Okay, we'll get the highest thing first, which is going to be this. We also got to remember that there was something to drop off and get on the way back. So is this the guy? Yeah, this is where the murder guy lives. So there's a load of blood up here, which should have tipped me off last time. He really is eating an innocent person. Well, it might be a guilty person, but he's eating a person. Uh, a kid, by the look of it. Woman, man, child. Okay. Well, I'm 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 absolutely sure this person's a villain, so I'm not gonna. I'm not going to help them this time and send them back to my my sanctuary, but I'm going to have the decency to talk to him first and not stab him in the back. Whoa! Blimey, don't scare me like that. On a night like this, I took you for a monster. Oh, thank the stars, you're fairly normal. Was it you who put down that awful beast? Ooh, that thing had me trembling, frozen in my boots, and then you came along. Well, if you're a hunter, then would you know of any safe havens? Withhold information. Oh, I could send him to the plate person that I think is probably evil. But that would be kind of a villain thing for me to do. Actually, the person over here... She says that they're gonna. He, she's gonna give them blood ministrations and cure them, and beasts are nothing to fear. So maybe I should. I don't know. I, that might be villainous. But if she's gonna use blood, she says she can cure people with blood. I'm gonna do. It. I'm gonna try it. Maybe she can help him. And it means that I don't have to kill someone who's having a normal conversation with me at the moment, but he does go on to murder everyone, but I feel a little bit sorry for him. Well I'll be. Thank you. It's about time I made a move. I can't very well stay out on my own. Oh, you're giving me hope. Terribly kind of you. Take this. It's all I can offer us, thanks. Okay, I'm curious to see if, if Isofka can cure this man. Thank you. It's about time I made a move. I can't very well stay out on my own. Okay, well that's that's the end of that until we go back and find out what's going on. Now where's that piece of loot? I think the best thing to do is like roll off of this side to get it. I want to get trapped in the uh, machinery though and, and die. Okay. It was a cannon. Okay, cool. I guess uh, we'll give it a try. Oh, no, I don't have the stats. Requires 30 strength to hold the cannon. Yeah, I have to play around with it on my other playthrough if I ever want to try a cannon because I got nothing but strength on my other guy. I don't think there was anything else up here. I think that's all I was looking for. I guess now it's down to Snake Highway of Death. Oh god. Fell through this terrain a bit. Well, that didn't look like it was gonna work. I I took a I took a dive for the team. So let's see. I guess Snake Snake Highway just starts this way. Yeah, this isn't going to be pretty. At least I have some health on this character. Uh, it began.
minions. Bundle of snakes. Like, who would even put snakes in a pile like this? It's just terrifying. I guess someone's going around tying snakes in a knot that they can't get out of, and now it's just a moving mass of snakes. Monitor shopping is a pain. I kind of like monitor shopping. Maybe I'm just a weird guy, but I was very happy with what I ended up with. It's nice. I um, can actually plug the PlayStation 5 into it, which is great actually turns on in the morning without having to wait 40 minutes for it to warm up, like my last monitor. And it's kind of the same size and shape, I've got the same resolution and everything else. And then this one has the HDR on it, which is beautiful. I, I quite like HDR as a, as a system. Uh, I would if I didn't have to replace this one I'm using now after only four months. Whoa. I really hope my one lasts longer than four months. My last one is from 2015. And... Yeah, it broke a little while ago, but it was still basically working if you if you just had some patience with it. And here's something up. I remember it was kind of tricky to get up there, but we did figure it out. You can see the loot up there already. It's kind of loot everywhere on Snake Way. Let's, uh, let's keep going. Went to move it and plugged it in. There is a. It's cracked all down the middle of the screen. Wow get for getting an ultra wide but yeah both my last one and this one are an ultra wide and I and I love them I uh oof I didn't have that happen to me that sucks though because I, I love this format like I do occasionally have the the occasional YouTube comment that's like buy another monitor so that you don't have that bar down the bottom well, I like the bar down the bottom. The bar down the bottom means that the, my webcam is never over the top of the footage, which I prefer. Um, so I've only ever watched one other streamer, and he his footage, his webcam just like blocked 30% of the screen, and then his chat blocked the other 30% of the screen, and it was it was laughable. Like you really couldn't watch the game. that uh, Asmongold fellow who was playing Dark Souls and uh, I couldn't tell he was playing Dark Souls because there was barely any of it there. Hey, we got him. We got him with the grapple. Love it as well, but my office in my house is small. It's like a five foot by five foot room if I get anything new. Gotta move everything around every time. Yeah, I mean, if it's awkward. If it's awkward, just uh, do it the way you want to do it. But, um, just for... I just don't understand 4K. Because it just... It makes... You, you get the same amount of picture. And as soon as wide ultra widescreen was a thing, I brought like the first ultra wide monitor that came out. That you know, that that, that I remember being like a, a, a big deal thing. Cause I'm just like, yeah, I want 
I want to watch what's on the side that I'm missing. And if I went back to a 4K monitor, it'd be like, well, okay, I've just lost all that gameplay, all that game view to the left and to the right. I couldn't do that to myself. I, I, I like seeing all that extra stuff. Oh wow, that played the sound effect for me getting him with a with a critical attack. Then he, he didn't actually fall over. There we go. Got him. Watch wife curve is my favorite, honestly. Yeah. Damn. He was dead and then he kinda wasn't. I, I actually looked down to read because this guy, he was so dead. But apparently he had one hit point left that I was unaware of. Sort of rough. Oof. These things happen. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I enjoy the um, 1600 curvature. I think I saw a whole bunch that were 800 curvature, which is like more curved, and they were just ridiculous. They were kind of like a monitor if it was a pair of sunglasses to wrap around your head, and I thought those were kind of horrible. Whereas I think the super subtle curve is, is, is just perfect. That's the other thing, like the ultra wide aspect ratio is based like more on human vision. You can see like a lot of left and right, with vision as a person. Whereas 4K, there's there's just a ridiculous amount of up and down that you don't need. It's just it's there's no point to 4K. Little pointless resolution. But that's what YouTube likes. Like I I'm trying to fight the system here, but like you're missing features if you just upload ultra wide footage directly to YouTube. You go and try and use the end screens and it just says unsupported uh, aspect ratio and video format. Get out of here. It's, it's lame. I actually consider putting the webcam and chat back over the footage again. On ultra wide because there is a load of extra space. Technically on a lot of games. Um... Yeah, I'd consider doing that if YouTube went back to actually properly supporting it. And I say went back to, and I'm not mad, but before they used to have a system called Annotations. Back, at, back a million years ago, back when I was doing YouTube at the start. And then they got rid of it for the, the new system, what we currently have now, and it's just worse. Worse in every way. Annotations used to rock. Used to take forever to do them, you know? Which, you know... That's a that's a interesting curvature. Yeah. I think I've only seen the uh, 1600s and the 800s. I didn't even know they could do a thousand. It's that's less curved than the ones that I didn't like. So I might actually like that one. Blasted snake didn't stop biting me. It was my own fault for not like trying to dodge around, time my attack, and go back the other way. At least this is way easier than trying to do this with the starting class health. This place was hell trying to do that. One mistake dead. Boom. Ooh, I can get a sneaking attack on the. Ah, oh, no. The other snake alerted him, I guess. Oh, again, it played the sound effect for him getting crit, and then it didn't knock him over. He can actually fake out you. Oh my god. 